Hi everyone and welcome back to Warno. Today we are back in the September tournament with a couple of games, or should I say one game today and probably one game tomorrow or Saturday, with Hippie and Rabbit Squirrel. Hippie said that these are pretty good games and they each took a turn playing as the British. So in this one, on the right, we have Rabbit Squirrel playing as the first British armoured division. And on the left hand side in red, we have Hippie playing as the fourth Motsuchin division. This is actually on the previous patch, I believe now, but this should be quite an interesting game, especially if they're each taking a turn playing as the British. Obviously, there's a lot of debate about whether the uh, Brits are a little bit underpowered in this patch in particular. Lots of foxes out for Rabbit Squirrel. Tornado in already, dealing with that MiG-21. MiG-21 is dead. Lots of AA firing at the Tornado, though. And there is another MiG-21 in. Good use getting early infantry up to this point by Hippie. Obviously, it's really important for Hippie to secure this side of Delta. Because we know on this map, it's not considered hugely balanced. In that it's very easy for Rabbit Squirrel's side often to get into Delta and these trees before Hippie could manage that. And Cub at the back there. That is a very lucky tornado. Very lucky. But Hippie in a very strong position already here. Due to the fact he's managed to secure this area. That tornado playing with fire, still swinging round. It's taken a little bit of damage. Yeah, it's evacuating now. Got a fox heading around the back here. We saw this in a previous game with CLPR that his opponent did get a unit around the back here, but he actually had something to defend, but there isn't anything there now. We do see there is a gazelle rocket managed to get all the way around the back from Rabbit Squirrel as well. He's believing that they're waiting to kill a command that comes in. Currently, Rabbit Squirrel is ahead, plus three currently. Just because he holds that back point, there is another command coming in there for Hotel. Not a huge amount defending Hotel. The majority of Rabbit Squirrel's forces are moving through Golf in towards Delta. There it goes. The Chopper is going for that command. Chopper is very low. And there we go. Jet in to kill it. Command actually didn't take any damage there from those rockets. It was very lucky. Right now, looks like Hippie has the upper hand with the 4th Motsuchin Division. Very flexible division now, and with recent improvements to the T-55A, quite powerful. I think uh, lots of requests for a re-nerf of the T-55A going on at the moment. I did have a play around with them last night, and they were performing all right, but I wasn't, you know, it's a, a 10 v 10, you're not really concentrating on them very much. You're just kind of throwing them in willy-nilly. Might feel a bit differently if I was playing in a 1v1 and trying to take on tanks. So Mori is coming in there with gun groups. Gun groups, quite an interesting squad. A cheap way to bring in a warrior is the main reason I'm told that people go for this. Warriors can be very good. Bit of a slow rate of fire on the Raden autocannon, though. Seed coming in here. I mean, I suspect that uh, Hippie is turning... Yeah, he's turning his air defences on and off. You'll probably have those on a hotkey. And once you get into this level, it's the kind of thing I expect from these guys. They will be micromanaging things like air defense. Another MiG-21 coming in there. He did get a shot off with the Cub at that seed. The seed is almost dead. Lucky seed. One pip of health. Commands in for Hippie on both those back points now. Still way out ahead with 115 points is Rabbit Squirrel. Although that is it now. He is now neutralized, so to speak. This is a really interesting positioning of both players' forces. So Hippie's still maintaining sort of control here, but doesn't have anything at this side. But in fairness, 
Rabbit Squirrel doesn't have anything at this side. <laughs> That's, that was an unlucky jet. I thought there were so many misses. I thought it was going to get away. Uh, Fox is engaging that recon chopper there. But obviously, Hippie now knows that the Fox is there. Little skirmish in these buildings here. I would zoom in, but you won't see anything. Warning of pushing across here. That Metis, if it's still got missiles, will easily kill that. Oh, very lucky. The missile missed. Bunch of foxes coming in here. That's a bit of a uh, spammy push from Rabbit Squirrel with the foxes. Will they survive against all of this firepower? The Metis got a hit and got a kill. There is an SPG-9 there as well, which will also be very useful against these foxes. Unfortunately, Hippie hasn't moved it yet. It's on the move now. He should be able to defend against that. Another push coming from Rabbit Squirrel here, though. Multiple warriors and gun groups pushing across there, along with the Chieftain Mark 9s. Some people argue that the Chieftain Mark 9 isn't worth having in because it has a lower range. I'm just trying to click on it. So its range is only 2,100 meters, but I actually don't think it's a bad tank. It's a very reasonable price for what it is. Rocket attack in the back there. I think it finished off that fox. Tornado is still alive there, flying around. Will probably get hit by that cub as it comes past, though. That is a fully ranked up cub. Not the best AA in terms of its accuracy, but certainly not bad. He says as the missile completely curves away from the jet. Good mortar use from Hippie here just to stun some of these units that are coming in. He's managed to stun and rout that warrior. I expect it's possibly taking some damage from something else as well. Target switch onto these units here. Good defensive wall here from Hippie. Obviously, ideally now, yes, and there it is. Rab I was about to say Rabbit Squirrel needs to get a command into golf, but of course there is one coming in as I say that. It's like he read my mind. Hippie, plus two currently because he controls Delta. And the big fight really here is going to be over this point. Rabbit has managed to dislodge Hippie from this area here. Seed coming in there. Did fire a missile, I think. Taking shots. Oh, good hit again. I think that took it down to low health once more. But clearly one missile isn't enough. Small amounts of skirmishing going on up here. Not a lot of defense, as I say, for Rabbit Squirrel. Quite a few units for Hippie sort of spread around, but nothing that looks like it's ready to attack. And there are, you know, rifles coming in there. So he, Rabbit Squirrel is building up a little bit of a defensive force in that area. A couple of Gazelle rockets coming in here. 20 points. They are very cheap, but they only have 12 rockets each. They're nowhere near as good as the options that you get for the other side the pack decks just get so many more rocket choppers and so many more rockets for those choppers continued really good use of these mortars as defense to force rabbit squirrel to either stop and retreat or just stun him down Switching to that munitions there. Killing the supply, obviously a very good idea, but whether he'll kill it, he'll certainly do it damage. Certainly stop him rearming everything. And there we go. There's the slight retreat from Rabbit Squirrel. He is being pushed back. Shilka being used to try and take out that gazelle. That was a jet dying all the way back here off the map. And that's the tornado down as well. Oof. Lots of jets dying in that little skirmish. More warriors coming in with the gun group there. Another chieftain mark 9. Obviously this is now 
basically a line down the middle of the map. You know, I, I continue to debate with this map and I've sort of reconsidered what might be a good suggestion is removing these two points and just having one big point in the middle. Covering that area, sort of like that. My only concern then is how close Hotel is. And also how close this point would be to this side compared to this side. But I do feel like this is sort of the bit to be fighting over, but it shouldn't be that the person who's starting at this side of the map has an advantage getting into this forested area first, or these tree lines. But I suspect this is one of the maps that will get a little bit of a jiggle around in terms of its points. Oh, another jet down. I didn't see what it was. But both players have a decent air defense right now. There's a couple of cubs in for Hippie. And there's a few tractor rapiers in for Rabbit Squirrel. He's also bringing in some javelins now as well. Javelins here being the anti-air variant rather than the anti-ground variant. Oh, artillery piece in for Hippie there. No artillery at the other side as yet. In fact, I, I don't think we've even seen any mortars from Rabbit Squirrel. Not that the first armoured division of the British get very good mortars. That's interesting. So Rabbit Squirrel has managed to push into this area now and dislodge Hippie, but Hippie is trying to get back in there. Hippie has a very nice line all the way along the map of various units. Well, two warriors pushing around here. I wonder if Rabbit Squirrel is thinking, can he push around the bottom here and go up into this point and sort of take out all the stuff down here? That is an option, because there isn't a lot down here. There's some anti-air, there's a conkers, and there's the chopper. But if he could get a few units around this way, he could push up here through the trees and cause a lot of havoc at the back lines for Hippie. Obviously, Rabbit School doesn't know that. He can't see what we can see. We can see that there isn't a lot there in terms of actually something that can defend. So he may not go for that. For all he knows, there's a line of tanks in those trees. And often on this map, there are tanks in those trees. T-55 AM 2Bs with their missiles being utilized here. Good choice, trying to take out those anti-air units, the tractor rapiers, from range. That is the advantage. These missiles obviously have quite a long range. Not very accurate at all, but they are 2,800 meters. Artillery piece firing here at... I think it was trying to hit the tractor rapier as well. Chieftain is about to take... Oh, no. Those missiles were going for the tractor rapier, and it is dead. Obviously, that suggests to me Hippie is thinking about bringing in aircraft or choppers. Hippie's making a move now with all of these units. He's got plenty of BMPs with some infantry in, and he's got some of those tanks pushing up here as well. Chieftain Mark 9's engaging. Warrior Milan's... Oh... Very easy kills for the T-55s and the BMPs. Chieftain Mark 9 doing the business. Obviously, certainly out damages these things. They have 14 penetration. Chieftain Mark 9s have 19 penetration with 15 front armor. But it is dead. I believe... Got engaged by these units as well. Artillery coming in on all of these forces here. Rifles being pushed in. Rifles obviously will be useful. They have law 80s. They will be able to take out most of these vehicles pretty easily. Warriors at the back here as well. Providing fire support. Trying to do some damage to those infantry. Along with another Chieftain Mark 9 there. But Hippie got a strong push going on here. A large buildup of forces down here for Rabbit Squirrel. Still not a lot in here for Hippie, though he does have more up here, I would say. 
in terms of some infantry and certainly at least one BMP1 it looks like. Seed in there. Oh, Seed is dead though. Seed did manage to take out the chopper that was there but uh, was killed by the Cubs. It's an expensive loss. Those Seed planes aren't cheap. Artillery now being used against the tractor rapier there. Hippie really wants those air defences dead. Could be that he just wants to force the spending of more cash on some replacements. They are quite expensive at 120 points. Rifles making a little bit of movement up here, I believe. Although... Is that... I, I can't decide if that's those rifles have moved forward. I think those Jaeger Metas might have actually moved forward. Because I think those rifles have been there for a while. But I think Hippie's front line is just creeping ever further forward. And there's a rocket attack jet coming in there. Sorry, an anti-tank ATGM jet coming in. I'm just so used to seeing red rocket attack planes. Oh, and the loss of another AA jet. There's so much air defense now for Hippie. Any jets that come over from Rabbit Squirrel just seem to be getting minced. That appears to be going for the Chinook supply now. Picking his targets carefully. The command that was in here is dead. I don't think it got retreated out. Hippie in the better position, it looks like, at the moment. Chief to Mark 11 coming in there. Another command being brought in. There's not a lot at all defending these points here. So, if Rabbit Scroll could be sneaky, sneaky, and get around the back with a few of those attack choppers, if he has any left, you know, at 20 points apiece, it's almost certainly worth it to try and kill a couple of commands. Depends how mean you want to be with some command sniping. But again, he doesn't know there's no defense there, so it's a risk. It's just what we can see. We know there's no air defense there. That cub is an issue, but it's currently out of ammo. So you could sneak past it. If you could take out that MI2, then you could sneak around this way without being seen. Obviously, once you get on top of this, you will be seen, but... You just got to move quickly. I have used that before very effectively to go around and destroy people's uh, artillery pieces. Because people tend to put their artillery pieces out in the middle of the fields without any defense around them. Even if they have defense on the command vehicles. So sometimes it's quite good in a team game to just get a couple of choppers together, whiz them around the back and take out all the artillery. Don't expect your choppers to survive of course, but it certainly can deal with artillery issues. Good use of mortars, as always, from Hippie. He's putting down a lot of fire here. He did manage to get back in that building. Rabbit Squirrel putting up a hell of a fight, but obviously taking a lot of damage from the mortars there. He's calling in more infantry here. Not sure where that tracked rapier is going. It needs to be careful getting... If it gets too close to those mods suchin, they will fire at it. Obviously not in range of the launchers currently. Warriors being moved around to try and get some shots on there, perhaps. Sultan is coming in. I'm concerned if it goes in this side because there's two Motsuchin squads just sat waiting. Oh, yeah, he's coming along here. That's okay. Hippie on the move. He's managed to progress all the way to there. He's killed the recon that was there. He has lost a few other units around the area, though, including that chopper. Currently Hippie, plus two, and at 700, so has pulled ahead, and we're about halfway mark in this game. Rabbit Squirrel back in control of this point. It is neutralized once more. I'm curious to see if Hippie feels he has good enough control of one corner of this to put in his own command he could bring in a command infantry or something and just sit it in this corner forcing a neutralization again but obviously it's risky because he's only got two infantry squads in there most of his forces are further back 
whether he chooses to push those forward. He is making a little bit of move here with those Motsuchin, just pushing them up very gradually, but they're immediately getting shot at by the warriors. BMP-1's right at the bottom of the map here. Launching missiles at that warrior. And now at the other warrior. Oh. I was going to say they're well within range to uh, fire their guns as well. BMP-1's obviously have a little tank gun. It's a very good gun really. Chieftain Mark 9 arriving here, and finally a Challenger Mark 2. I think that's the first one we've seen this game, unless I missed one. Very strong tank. St I'm still still eternally disappointed that it's only got 20 front armor. I think it should be higher. Loads more T-55s coming in here. Recon team. More recon. Two artillery pieces in now for Hippie. No artillery pieces in at all for Rabbit Squirrel. Good use of artillery to try and kill anti-air. I mean, honestly, I don't feel like Hippie's brought in that many aircraft, but he's... I suppose because they're so expensive, he's forcing Rabbit Squirrel to replace them. Um, and then he's not spending that on more infantry and such the like, or tanks. So it's not a bad strategy. Challenger with a pip of health loss there. Units from Hippie pushing up around the top here now. More anti-air being called in. And a tank. And some recon. There just seems to be a constant stream of units from Hippie. I think because the 4th Motsuchin Division have such cheap units compared to the 1st Armoured. 1st Armoured's units are relatively expensive. Good units, obviously, but relatively expensive. Warriors have managed to defend against that BMP. Lynx Hellarm moving up there in a Gazelle rocket. Try and aid the defense. Conquers there taking fire from the Chieftain. They have 20 penetration. Chieftain has 15 armor, so we'll take a fair amount of damage. Challenger being pushed up to try and engage as well. Lots of these reinforcements arrived now for Hippie, including all these tanks with the tank missiles. Oh wait, these ones don't have tank missiles, sorry. They're just the AM2s, not the AM2Bs. My apologies. They're just, they're just normal T-55s without a missile. 10 front armor, 14 penetration. Not going to be much use against the Challenger then. Oh, what a bombing strike. Look at that cluster bombing strike. Absolutely annihilated all of those tanks. Beautiful strike from Rabbit Squirrel there. He'll be very pleased with that. Obviously, he lost the jet in the process, but it was a very effective strike. Oh, there is one T-55 AM-2B there with its missile. I feel like the missile just poses slightly more of a threat to these tanks. At least certainly to the Chieftain, because it's got 18 penetration. Not sure how much it will realistically do to the Challenger. I think one pip of health. There is a very awkward calculation for all of that, which is now based more on the Wargame Red Dragon one. A T-Jet flying around there, obviously looking for targets. Would love to get a shot off on that Chieftain Mark 11, I'm sure. There isn't actually any air defense over this side now for... Oh, here it goes. Oh, very nice strike. There's a tractor rapier here, though, which will engage. Nice hit, and the second missile off, and it got the kill. Very nice. Tractor rapier doing the business. I don't know how Rabbit Squirrel was feeling in this game, um, but I feel as though he's under a lot of pressure constantly from Hippie. We haven't seen Rabbit manage to do a very aggressive push in quite a while, and I do feel as though he's looking a bit thin on the ground, whereas there is a lot of red. 
and don't get me wrong a good chunk of that red is transport vehicles and there's plenty of you know artillery pieces at the back there and mortars but he does have enough probably to do an aggressive push in the terms of the BMPs tanks and infantry he doesn't know that there's not a lot in here we obviously do but he will imagine there's a lot more in this point there we go so he has brought in an infantry command I thought he might eventually because it's something easy to slip into the back of that point just to start his points ticking up again and all he needs to do is sort of shift his front line forward very slightly it is risky though maneuvering into here artillery piece now in for rabbit squirrel he has that how it's are in some javelins coming in for some air defense at this side rabbit squirrel managing to maneuver out with various infantry here he has lost all his vehicles but he is managing to push out with these rifles and should regain control of most of this area i should imagine a little bit of movement here as well managed to bring in some rifles just into bedford trucks but they are rifles nonetheless, so they are decent infantry. There is just an overwhelming mass of units here for Hippie, which will cause him problems. Javelin getting a shot off at one of these choppers. They have a very long reload time though, so won't get many shots off. And unfortunately, not the most accurate either. Rabbit Skrull back in control at this point. Couple of T-55As down the bottom here. Seven front armor. Not quite as good as the AM-2s. They have ten armor. He's marking things to kill. So he spotted the command and he spotted the anti-air. Challenger Mark II taking that out. Seed jet in now. But I imagine all of these are off. Yes, they are. Oh, it managed to kill something over there, though. There it goes. These have all turned on now, however, and that is one dead seed plane. Really good air defense net for Hippie in the middle here. Even if they aren't that accurate, they're doing the business. Good use of artillery now on this side of the map from Rabbit Squirrel as well, managing to hit this stuff at the back. Rabbit Squirrel managing to be fairly aggressive with his few squads of infantry supported by the Warrior Milan and some Challenger, well, a Challenger Mark II and a Chieftain Mark XI. Up here I do note there are a couple of Gazelle rockets at the back there. Could he be planning to whiz round the back and try and get a kill? It's hard to say. Oh, this is interesting. Hippie's moved his command vehicle over there. It was over here, and he's put a recon chopper there. That's very interesting. Did did Rabbit Squirrel get something over there that I missed? I'm not sure. <coughs> command moved in and out the point for Rabbit Squirrel there. Hippie hasn't moved his command into this side yet. Artillery coming in on hippies artillery but not getting any hits on that there took out a supply vehicle though that ectasia is sort of moving back through that fire though it is on the road so it is moving pretty fast rabbit squirrel good push going on up here those gazelles have been spotted though by that uaz i'm pretty sure yeah there's a rocket attack chopper Rocket attack jet coming in, sorry. Managed to kill one of those immediately. That's the thing. This idea is brilliant if you don't get spotted. As soon as you get spotted, game's over. It's very hard to get in and do damage. There's also a Shilka coming in there, which will intercept that gazelle. Good push out there from Rabbit Squirrel. Certainly keeping Hippie on his toes. He's brought in a couple of tanks there. There are some more infantry and things moving up that way. It's sort of really stalemated in the middle. Neither player in control of this point again. Or this little area here. Poor Rabbit Squirrel though. Literally just has those two tanks covering the middle now. No infantry in there. And this is turning into a long game with 
just under 10 minutes left and lots of gun groups coming in but I just feel like Rabbit Squirrel must be hurting for infantry yeah that uh, chopper never really got very far certainly didn't engage the command very good idea but yeah if you get spotted by something it just doesn't work sadly And this is a hard map not to get spotted on because there's a lot of open area at the side. It's not like you're going through a huge chunk of forest where someone might not have anything. More rifles coming in. Hippie trying to push back at the top here, utilising those tanks. He's lost a lot of those Motsuchin though. That squad is definitely going to die. Chieftain Mark 9 coming in will put up one hell of a fight against these T-55s. That one is already badly damaged. It has smoked. Rifles pushing up through open terrain, which is a bit risky. Chieftain moving in on this tree line at least, I think. Good use of artillery by Rabbit Squirrel. Though, not sure what he was firing at there. Whatever it was has moved, possibly the cub. Hmm. Hippie's Howitz is very low on ammo. I wonder if he's out of supply. He ha did have a lot of supply in the middle early game. Gun groups pushing in here at this side now. Chieftain has managed to scare away those tanks. And Rabbit Scroll maintains a good defensive position there. Chieftain Mark 11 almost dead. Challenger Mark 2 retreating back. Of Clara Heavy now moved from the tree line into that building. Just pushing up that recon for Hippie. Allowing him to spot stuff further back. A little bit of a push here from Rabbit Squirrel. Unfortunately he's getting shot from both sides here along with taking mortar fire. I don't think those gun groups are going to do very well against all that combined fire. There's quite small squad, sadly. Rifles faring a little better, the arm rifles, but uh, very difficult. Javelin's pushing up to engage these choppers. This Chieftain Mark 9 pushed really far up. It's taking a lot of fire from that anti-tank chopper, though. And it is dead. Tractor Rapier is moved up to engage. Wow. That MI-24P is taking a lot of shots to kill. It is finally dead. More forces pushing up here in the form of Warrior Milans. Those arm rifles pushing towards the center. A lot of sustained fire coming out of this point though from Hippie. He has marked that Tractor Rapier as well. He has marked these and is engaging. Looks like he's got... Ah. He's brought in another artillery piece. And he has some munitions there, so he does have supply left. Another Challenger Mark II coming in there. Expensive tanks. So expensive. 300 points. Very good tanks, but it's a lot of money to spend. This one's still kicking but badly damaged good use with those warriors trying to take out infantry in these buildings another MI-24P anti-tank causing issues though reasonably accurate with those cock-on missiles Two Hellarm choppers coming in there. Really need air defense up here. That tracked rapier is pushing up. Thankfully that is out of cock on missiles. So it will not be engaging any more tanks. Still plus two to Hippie. Five minutes to go. As it stands Hippie is going to win this game. On points. He hasn't managed total domination though. Rabbit Squirrel being incredibly good at his defensive wall and constantly trying to push back against hippie and you know 
I think we've seen at least three pushes from Hippie at various points on this map that Rabid has managed to stave off with what, at least on the screen, in terms of red and blue boxes, looks like a lot less units. So he's got to be commended for that. I'm very curious to see what the kills to losses are at the end. Really curious. I honestly cannot tell you if it's going to be close or if Hippie's going to be a lot higher because obviously the units are costing more on Rabbit Squirrel's side. A final push in the center here from both players meeting in the middle. Hippie did push forward but has pulled back into his buildings now. Tanks being used to good effect. Scouts coming in down there. Nothing around the back for either player. As I say, it is a, a difficult map to get around the back. Oh, lots of fire against that hell arm from the Shilker, I believe. Or that Shilker there, one of the two. Hippie proving very hard to dislodge from this area. I was going to say, is there artillery on the way? And yes, there is. Artillery will help a lot. HE Bomber came in there, but has veered off. I don't think it actually dropped any bombs. Oh, it's dead. As I say, a lot of jets being lost this game. Three minutes to go. It'd be very difficult for Rabbit Squirrel to get enough points now to even call a draw, I think, in the next two minutes. I think it would be very hard for him to secure this point. Hippie's still very fast with his artillery on trying to take out anti-air targets. Look at Rabbit Squirrel go. Look at how much he's dwindled Hippie's forces at the front here. Look at that huge red blob that was there. Rabbit Squirrel has managed to dwindle it down to almost nothing. I mean, there's a command, a BMP-1, a Jaeger, and a supply truck. He's firing back there again. I'm wondering if that's where he thinks the command is. I assume that's the case. I assume that's where he thinks the command is. Cluster bombers coming in. Very nice. Very nice. Good use of cluster bombers at the end there for Hippie. Took out some of those big tanks. Did lose one in the process, but they did their job. Under two minutes left of the game now. Hippie has lost control of this point, though. There is a command infantry in the corner. Oh! Was killed by a rocket attack. Good try, Rabid. Good try. Commiseration, Rabid. That was a heck of a fight. A heck of a fight on your part. I would like to note that both Rabbit Squirrel and Hippie do have YouTube channels, and I will link them down below in the description, so please do check them both out. Hippie likes to post his meme videos, and Rabbit Squirrel also looks at the tournament games and posts up the replays of those. Hippie is so fast with his artillery all the time. I always feel like if I played against Hippie, I'd just be annoyed at him for all his artillery. It would drive me mad. And I feel like I'd expend a lot of planes trying to kill them. Hippie managing to push up now. He did lose that other command in that corner, by the way. At some point in all that fighting, but he already he had one in this corner. Obviously, that one was to be pushed into golf. But back to plus two for Hippie in the dying moments of the game. And there it is. Well played, guys. Okay, so kills to losses were actually very close. And that just goes to show how expensive Rabbit Squirrel's stuff is. 
compared to what Hippie was bringing in. There is a price disparity there um, because it obviously looked like Arab Skrull had a lot less on the field for a, a, much of the game. But really well played, guys. That was a hell of a ongoing fight between you both. Hippie, exceptional use of your artillery and mortars as always in that game. And Rabbit Squirrel, I cannot fault your defensive line. You held back Hippie multiple times and still managed to mount offensives. That was a great game. Thanks very much for watching, everyone. Please do like, share, subscribe. Stay tuned to the channel. We will be having the second game of this matchup where Hippie will be the one playing as the first British division rather than Rabbit Squirrel. So they're switching, basically. But thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all soon.